Hello friends, hello Lao Shu, hello Moses. This is the video response that I promised I would make for you presenting, uh, making a short review of SML uh, Arabic. I didn't took, uh, I didn't take the other SML I have, but to compare, but this SML is very big, so it's very thick. So um. It's the longest SMO course I have in my library, um, and I have some. I have SMO courses for various languages like Greek, Russian, Indonesian. I saw uh, the SMO course for Persian, but uh, actually I'm not planning on learning uh, Farsi right now, so I didn't bought it. I didn't buy it. And uh, I saw also the one for Hindi, which is uh, very good. But let's talk about the, the Arabic one. So, for those who master um, just the basics of French, you can use this book. This book was printed in... Was printed in no, it's the 2009 version. It's the latest version of Arabic. Uh, modern standard Arabic. It's uh, explained in French. I don't know if you have uh, the same version in English, but let's look inside. Uh, inside there is a small introduction and then they give you the table of the letters in Arabic. In Arabic like this, uh, like that. Yeah. Um, so um, you are not gonna learn uh, how to write Arabic like this because uh, this is a very annoying This is a very very boring way to learn how to write in Arabic So they thought about a very uh, pleasant way to learn how to write Arabic. Okay. This is the first lesson uh, here at Dersul Awalu Kitabu. This is the first lesson just one phrase. They they don't want to overwhelm you with a le, uh, a lot of vocabulary at first, so you don't get discouraged when you learn uh, such a weird language like Arabic. Kataba, which means ilaiki he wrote, and here is uh, the text. Okay, you have the numbers one and two here in blue, and uh, he uh, where is it? At? Okay, here, let me, okay, here, you have also the numbers 1 and 2, and it's in order to explain what is special in this sentence, which uh, someone, someone who speaks French does not understand, and it's not logical. Sometimes it's grammar, sometimes it's about culture, sometimes it's about, um, a special feature in Arabic language. Okay, this is the first lesson and um, right, right after you have um, a section which uh, explains how you are gonna write uh, Arabic and the Arabic letters you learned in Katab uh, al-Katibu, which is the first lesson in Arabic. Okay, and um, this is a small guide for the, you learn one, two, three letters in three different positions. If you, uh, as you may know, um, in Arabic, when you write it, it's um, different if the letter is at the beginning of the word or at the middle of the word uh, or at the end of the word or isolated, it's a different way of writing. Each letter have four uh, possible writings. Sometimes they are the same, um, but you have 80, 80, no, 28 letters in Arabic. And here is uh, the text without the vowels, like you would see this in um, a newspaper. Okay, let me show you the second lesson. This is the second lesson. Adersul. Uh, I'll say, mm, yeah, I, I had, I have to brush up my Arabic. Jalasa al-katibu. Jalasa wa katiba. You see, they, 
they use again the care jibu uh, so that you don't forget it. This is a very good way to learn any foreign language. And in SMO, they always um, make new dialogues with the words you already know and new words. And this is the part in French with the uh, romanization and the French translation. And this one is the Arabic with the vowels. And like always, you have the uh, small numbers uh, with when there are some special features in the sentence you would not understand. You have the notes here about, about it. Uh, here, uh, they break up all the letters and different colors uh, each syllable. So uh, it's very good. And um, what are we talking about? about? Um, yeah, and they continue to teach you the letters in a very logical way and you just learn the letters through the, di the dialogues and after 30 lessons you will be able to write all the Arabic alphabet and you didn't learn to how to write it through a table. Okay, and then here there is uh, an exercise which is Tarjim. Tarjim, it means uh, translate, traduit. And you have to translate the first se sentence. Kataba al katibu wa jalasa al katibu wa kataba. You translate it, and here you have the solutions. And here you have to uh, fill, fill, in, fill in the blanks. But I don't do this exercise because I don't like this. Okay, those are the first lessons. And um, just let me go to lesson not, 10, for example. Uh, at the beginning, it's always very simple, very boring dialogues. But after, it becomes good. Qalamu uh, al-binti. You see, it's the same structure, a bilingual textbook. And very cool. You know, if you're an Arabic native speaker, you can tell me if what you think about it and yeah always the same structure and they always uh, after I don't know which lesson they give you the they give you the um, the vocabulary here at the bottom okay and let's go to this book has 77 uh, lessons in modern standard Arabic so we're gonna flip until maybe lesson 50 let's say I cannot read it because I didn't study this lesson but if you already know Arabic just look at a text and tell me what you think about it if you're a native Arabic speaker because I will use this book to learn Arabic and uh, yeah always the same format here in French here in Arabic and uh, the notes here underneath and um, yeah what can I tell more about this book uh, this is a great way to learn any foreign language always in context always in context and if you already purchased a national book you know how it works the passive uh, step and then the active step you know it and uh, okay I'll just play the audio quick play the audio for you ASMO Arabic where is it okay it's here let's say lesson 50 انتظرت ياسمين دورها مدة طويلة أخيرا وصلت إلى الشباك وأرسلت طردا إلى الخارج ثم أرادت إرسال رسالة مسجلة ولكن لذلك كان عليها أن تذهب إلى شباك آخر Okay, this was an extract of the, and what you get here in blue, the blue part as an index in, uh, in the Arabic, and it has also an grammatical, append, an, a grammatical appendix, 
which includes various um, grammar notes, but I never studied this blue part. I just wanted to show you okay, the adjectives. Um, yeah, if you know English, it's pretty easy to use French materials. And uh, yeah, the index where you have the words in uh, Arabic and the translations and the page where you learn this word. And then you have the Arabic to French, French to Arabic. So, okay, this was my review for Lao Shu about um, SML Arabic. I think it's a very good book. If you are native Arabic native speaker, just comment this video. I would like to know what you think about lesson 50. Thanks. Goodbye.